I have officially switched over to DaVinci Resolve. Goodbye, Adobe. I don't touch Premiere anymore. DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. Everyone has switched to Resolve. Which is great. This is great news because Resolve is free. Not only do you not have to pay a monthly subscription, but you don't have to pay anything because the free version is not like a terrible free version and all the features are in the pro version. It's all there. There are like three missing features and they're not necessary for anyone but pro editors. So look, if you've been wanting to learn to edit YouTube videos or YouTube shorts or TikToks or whatever, download it. I'll put it in the description. It's not an affiliate link. It's just just a link. My editor, Dustin, also started using Resolve about oh, a month and a half ago now, and he is on the hunt for tools, specifically free tools that help speed up his workflow and add some really cool editing tricks into his well, bag of tricks. So he compiled this list. We will put the list in the description down below, and this is for everyone. If you are new to editing, this will be great for you. If you've been editing for a while, but you're looking for some new things to spice up your content a little bit, take a look. This video is for you, and let us know in the comments how many of these you plan on using. I bet it's more than one. Real quick, content creators, I've got a brand new microphone for you and it's from Sennheiser. By the way, Sennheiser, if you're not familiar with today's sponsor, is an award-winning microphone maker. You walk inside any professional recording studio, there is a Sennheiser, like this, this is a Sennheiser. Well, now you can get their best in class sound for 129 bucks with their USB mic. Take a look, this is it right here. This thing is... This thing is metal, by the way. <laughs> the mic is plug and play with USB type C and there's no software needed. Instead, you can control everything with the dials and buttons right on the front of the microphone. Plus the adjustable tilt function. Take a look at this. It just, it's built into the microphone. Look at that. And here's an example of what the microphone sounds like. I think it sounds pretty good. What do you think? You can pick up the mic right now for 129 US dollars, or you can pick up a bundle with the mic arm actually for $199. That makes the mic arm like 70 bucks. It's pretty good. So yeah, check out the mic at the links down below. And now I'm gonna hand this over to uh, someone who's way better at editing than I am. So take it away, Dustin. Hello, yes, I'm Dustin, the editing wizard, camera master, or some of you OGs who recognize my face may know me as something else. But I'll be really quick and just talk about why making videos about Resolve excites me. So yes, I've been using Adobe products for the past decade and I'm not gonna get into details why I switched in this video, but I am working on a video that I'll be posting on my YouTube if you'd like to know all the nitty gritty details why I switched. But I'm really excited to finally be using DaVinci Resolve exclusively. Reason being is I feel like Resolve has always been kind of an afterthought and I'm guilty of this too. What I mean is lots of creators online will either use Premiere Pro or Final Cut, but will always recommend DaVinci Resolve because it's free. But nobody was ever really using Resolve exclusively. Little fun fact for you as well, these videos on the Senpai Gaming channel have been edited in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I wanted to make sure Resolve lived up to the hype before I invested in the studio version. Even this video was 90% done on the iPad version of DaVinci Resolve. Your mind was blown, huh? So I'm really excited because I can finally start recommending Resolve, not just because it's free, but because it's seriously so amazing for creators of any skill level. And because, well, I'll, I'm using it now. All right, so the plugins. One of my skills I feel like is finding ways to speed up my video editing workflow, which is what I've been doing the, this past month while I'm learning DaVinci Resolve. Oh, and these plugins are 100% free. I've watched Harris for a long time and I know how much you, I mean, I know how much we like free stuff. And if you stick with me to the end, I even got a bonus plugin for you. Everything will be linked in the description, by the way. So here we go. Plugin number one comes from someone named Mr. Alex Tech on YouTube and it's called Magic Zoom. This one for me is by far one of the most useful plugins. Basically what it does is this. These zoom-ins without the need to keyframe anything. All you have to do after installing the plugin is create an adjustment clip, bring up your effects, then find Magic Zoom, drag that onto your adjustment clip, and if we open up the inspector and go to effects, you'll have all these parameters. You can zoom in, then back out. You can zoom in and hold, you can hold, then zoom out, basically all of the zooms. You can adjust the speed of the in and out points, the scale of the zoom, and if it's not zooming in where you want it to, all you gotta do is click this little arrow right here, 
click Fusion Overlay, and then just click and hold this X you see and move it where you need. You can even add a bit of motion blur to the zoom and a bit of camera shake just to make things feel a bit more organic if that's what you're going for. Lastly, if you need to adjust the beginning or end of the zoom, it's as easy as dragging the beginning or end of your adjustment clip forward or backward, and it won't mess up any of the parameters that you've adjusted in the inspector. Seriously, this is probably my favorite plugin out of all of these. There is more that Mr. Alex Tech covers about this plugin, so I encourage you to go watch it, and he'll also tell you how to install it and all that jazz. Just so you know, when I say these plugins are free, you can donate to these creators who made these plugins. But I think Mr. Alex Tech just donates his earnings from these to charity. So e either way, consider giving a few bucks because this plugin alone, I would easily pay a hundred bucks for. Plugin number two, guess what? Comes also from Mr. Alex Tech. You're probably thinking that all these plugins are going to come from him. And yes, he does have a ton of other plugins that are all free with an optional donation. But these two from him, like, you just can't live without. This one is called Magic Animate. And what this one is specifically useful for is animating text. You can do this and this. You can even combine them to do this. Maybe it even gets boring when it animates in. You can add this to it. And all of this only takes a few easy clicks. It literally does almost everything you need when it comes to text. You just create a text plus title in Resolve, not the basic text drag on the animate tool, go to inspector and effects. Here you can control other parameters as well besides the animating part that's down here. Bonus as well, you can make backgrounds like this with graphics that you import and you can even animate the background as well. Again, Mr. Alex Tech, he has a YouTube video on this and plenty of other YouTube videos where he goes more in depth. So be sure to go watch those. Plugin number three. Uh, this one's kind of an interesting one. Anybody here know what the Sabre plugin is for After Effects? by Video Copilot? No, just just me? Well, this plugin is very similar to that, but just in DaVinci Resolve. This one comes from a creator named Patrick Sterling, and of course, you should go watch his video on it. But basically, what you can do with this is create cool, glowing effects like this. I know, I'm on fire with these plugins, am I right? It doesn't have to be as complicated as what I just did, though. You can use it on text. You can even just drag it straight onto your footage like this. I honestly have no clue what it's going to do dragging it on here. Speaking of which, I don't even know if the theory I have in my head of the previous effect will even work. But in theory, in my head it worked. If not, then hopefully I figured out something else is cool. Anyways, there's tons of creative things that you can do with this effect, and this only scratches the surface of what you can do. Plugin number four. This one comes from Motion VFX, and it's called MCAM Rig. This one is kind of similar to Magic Zoom because it can do zoom in effects on your footage, but what I really like about it is it'll create a background on footage that you don't want to scale to fit your entire screen. So for example, maybe like a vertical video or like a screen recording. Then to make things more interesting, you can zoom in on that footage and change the perspective in 3D space and slowly continue to zoom in on a point of interest. You can control the sharpness to help enhance the footage after you zoom in and you can put a depth of field effect or even some, um, what's that called? RGB channel split effect? I can't remember what it's called. There's a more in-depth video on how to use this tool as well, but even just simply dragging and dropping that onto my footage to get a background has been super useful. Now, plugin number five. This one is a plugin that gives you access to even more free community plugins. It's called Reactor 3. And after you install it, and there's instructions on how to do this, go up to Workspace, Scripts, Comp, Reactor, then click Open Reactor. Now there's a plethora of plugins to explore, and I've just barely touched the surface of Reactor, so I'm still getting to know what plugins will be the most useful for me. Some of these plugins do suggest donations as well, so if you are willing to pass a couple bucks, definitely consider it. And again, that goes for any of these plugins I've recommended that suggest a donation. Oh, and don't worry, I didn't leave you hanging here. One plugin in Reactor I've discovered that I recommend is called MT Glitch Tools. This is a little more for advanced people or someone willing to touch the Fusion tab and resolve. It's confusing and intimidating, I know. Fusion is basically like the after effects of DaVinci Resolve 
which it took me probably a year to become confident in After Effects. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around Fusion, but it gives you a ton more cool effects you can easily just drag and drop between your media in and media out points. Kind of like this, or like that, or maybe this. Oh, and feel free to mess with the sliders in the inspector as well to get a look that you want. Maybe like this. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, but I just hope, hopefully it's cool. And there we go, five free plugins for DaVinci Resolve. Oh, I almost forgot about the bonus, sorry. If you didn't think DaVinci Resolve was already a great value because it's free, they're giving you even more free stuff. When you open Resolve, go to the Fairlight tab. This is Resolve's sound mixing tab, but click on Sound Library and there should be an option that says download DaVinci Resolve's free sound library and there will be a download button as well. Once it's all downloaded and you go back to the tab, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's a little weird, but just type in the search bar three stars and all 515 fully sound effects are right there. Just crazy, man. It's almost like Harris made DaVinci Resolve because they just keep giving you free stuff. So anyways, let me know down in the comments which plugins you are going to download or if you are using a different editing software and now I got you debating if you should switch. Oh, and let me know how you feel about me in the video talking about video editing and if you even want me to return. Please say yes. Regardless, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Also listen to some stream beats while you're at it. I specifically enjoy the lo-fi stuff while I'm editing because it's not too distracting. And again, there are links to all the plugins down in the description, including my socials if you have any interest in learning more about me or my content. Until the next video though, happy editing.